What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to be extremely witty when you're texting a girl without coming off as cheesy. I'm gonna show you several examples of guys being really, really witty and also being really, really cheesy so you know exactly what the difference is between those two and you can text a girl like a boss. All right, so we're gonna start off by taking a look at what an extremely cheesy text game looks like so you guys know exactly what not to do, but make sure you guys watch until the very end because you're gonna see some of the wittiest texting ever and you don't wanna miss that. All right, let's get started. So this is gonna be one screenshot. The guy's, the girl's name is Moo and the guy's like, I like your style, it moves me. So he's making a play on words. She's like, is that supposed to be a joke? He's like, yeah, cause your name's Moo, don't worry about it. So anytime you have to explain what your joke is, you know that you're being cheesy, not witty. She's like, lol, horrible joke and I agree with that. So again, Part of wittiness and cheesiness is humor, right? The difference is that when you're witty, the jokes are actually funny. And when you're cheesy, the jokes are not funny. They're very corny. There's something that the girl has heard a thousand times. So the real litmus test is, okay, if you were to tell your friends this joke, or if you were to show this to your friends on the internet, would they find this funny? Well, no, because it's like the lowest common denominator of humor. It's like literally the lamest play on words ever that she's heard a thousand times. So your friends wouldn't find this funny. So therefore the girl's not going to find it funny. Therefore it's probably going to be in the cheesy category. Let's move on. So. Those guys are like, I'm interested. How do people usually approach you being a cute ginger with a weird, nerdy self-description? I'm assuming he's referencing her bio. She's like, are we neighbors? I don't know. We can try that singing across our balconies thing and try to find each other like that. Would that be considered a perfect social distancing date? So again, he's trying to be witty, but this is coming off a little cheesy because again, this is this is not funny at all. This is not interesting. This is not like, you know, intellectually stimulating. This is just like kind of like corny, right? Basically, she's like, no, you write a poem for me and come to recite it on my window. He says, hmm, what do I get from that? It should be a win-win situation. Not the worst text, but here what I would say is something like, wouldn't want to get you too excited though, right? That would be a little bit more witty, right? Something like that, uh, because it's more funny. She's like, I don't like your way of thinking. And here he goes, roses are red, violets are blue. I'll be your handshake, will you be my flu? Like again, that's not funny at all, which is what's putting this in the cheesy category. Also, here's an important thing to keep in mind. When you're running cheesy, I mean, sorry, running witty texting, right? It's not gonna be just like joke after joke after joke. It's gonna be a combination of, you know, some witty lies and then normal conversation. Typically when guys cross over into the cheesy category, it's like every text they're trying so hard, every text they're trying to like make jokes and trying to impress their girl. And that's when they really cross over to the cheesy category, right? Because it just seems like they're trying too hard. She's like, perfect. Tell me if I'm wrong. I have here a seemingly high maintenance ginger, a bit arrogant, also don't like my way of thinking. It, would, it wouldn't work out between us at least for something deeper. So here, I'm not really sure what he's doing. It seems like he's almost like insulting her, right? That's also not a good idea. She's like, you don't know me. Are you Belgian or, and then this is basically where the conversation ends, or at least the screenshots end. But yeah, you can see so far, this has been quite cheesy, not really good textscape at all. All right, so let's move on and take a look at our last cheesy conversation for the day. So the guy opens the girl and says, your bio left me at a loss for words, not gonna lie. Now this is not the worst opener lever. It's not like this is just like straight up cheesy right away. I think this actually starts out pretty decent. She's like, then go find them. I saw them somewhere around here. So so she's playing along, that's good. He's like, hmm, in that case, your help with finding them will definitely be useful. Sure, no problem. So they look like exactly, he's like quite tall. They have a slight foreign accent, hang out together while sipping beer or cocktails and laughing sarcastically. So a little bit of role play like this is good, right? And the girl's playing along. Like this is not cheesy so far. This is not the wittiest texting ever, but it's decent. She's like, sounds like they're having a great time. He's like, you said there's somewhere here. Where's that exactly? And I probably would have said something different when she's like, sounds like they're having a great time. would be like, yeah, just like we're going to, or just like, or something along the lines of that, bring it back more to the both of you. Uh, but that's not terrible. And she's like, she gives the air. He's like, hmm, that's near me. Let's look for them. Uh, so one side of getting into cheesy category is when you keep a joke or role play going for too long, right? Like this role play at this point has run its course. It's time to drop it and move on, right? But he keeps like going with this. It's like, I love that idea though I'm here for work. Um, he's like, you mean on Tinder for work? Haha. -ha. I mean, like, it's pretty obvious what she means. No, here I mean in Belgium. Uh, so he's like, for a limited time only, or yeah. So again, this is all unnecessary. Now he's like playing into it a little bit too hard. She's like, she's like, I love the idea, though I'm here for work. I'll be like, that's okay. How long are you here for work for? And then she gives you, and you're like, oh, cool. We'll have to meet up before then. And like, again, the time has come to drop this role play, but again, he, he keeps going too much. Uh, so here he just goes way too far. This is where it crosses over into straight up cheesy category. She said, he says, too bad. I was actually looking forward to finding me a nice wife on Tinder, then settling down and having her give birth to my two sons and then moving to the suburbs to live in a house with a pool and invest on the stocks and have some safe funds for when my sons grow up and all. 
And she's like, what if you get daughters? I don't know, I might have to phone a friend for this one. This is like totally unnecessary. Again, he's going way overboard. Like a little bit of role play and humor is good, but you don't want to go too much. And this is what he's doing here. So again, when she's like, when she's saying, I love the idea though I'm here for work, it's time to drop the joke and just focus on logistics. Maybe you can make some jokes later on. But from that point, that was the time to like kind of take her down, make plans instead of keeping going with the role play. And you can see she stops responding because again, he crossed over into the cheesy category. All right, now that I showed you guys what cheesy texting looked like, let me show you guys what what actual wittiness looks like. Some of it's gonna be from me and some of it's gonna be from one of the wittiest guys I know. His name is Jeff. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is one of my texting interactions. Uh, so I send this girl a meme. She's like, sounds like me, my counter girl. Do you have the place to yourself tomorrow or Tuesday? So I think at this point I had bad logistics for whatever reason. Yeah, I was trying to go to her place. She's like, I might, but I'm busy till Tuesday. Anyway, I have an exam preparing for. So here I say, studies found that multiple oral orgasms increase exam results by a whopping 69%. So that joke is pretty funny. I think most people laugh at that. She's like, let me know. And is your information credible and verifiable? I'm like, yes, verifiable with my lips. So another good thing that separates, I think, wittiness from cheesiness is that if you're being witty, you might say something a little bit more of a flamboyant, jokey statement, but then you're gonna send her a very blunt, matter-of-factly type of statement afterwards. It's not just like all flamboyant type of text like you saw in the previous interaction. So here, this one was just like, again, it's very straightforward, kind of impactful. It's like, yes, verifiable with my lips, kind of like intense. She's like, well, I see you're funny. I'm quite tasty. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So bam, you can see that this works out pretty well. All right, now let's take a look at a more complex one. Uh, so I messaged this girl, yo sexy, and she gives me a shit test. She's like, you're definitely not hollering at me like that. I'm sure you texted the wrong person. I'm like, are you not sexy? So yeah. Uh, sometimes just keeping it short is actually gonna increase the wittiness of what you're doing. Uh, Cause I could have sent her a massive essay here, but that would have actually had a counter effect. Oh no, I most certainly am, but that yo, that's like when you tell your bro or I'm no one's bro, I say, of course, if you were my bro, we'd have some issues. <laughs> Winky Mo, she's like, LMAO is so funny. Do you have an Instagram, by the way, sir? So here I give her the Instagram. She's like, all right, I have followed you. Maybe I can learn some dating wisdom from you. You will, especially during our date, which is kind of what I mentioned, what I would have said earlier in the previous uh, you know, situation. But again, you can see that I cracked some jokes but then I don't keep going forever with it. I drop it and get back to the normal conversation. All right, now let's take a look at Jeff. So Jeff is probably one of the wittiest human beings I know. Uh, he's a guy who used to be really, really popular on Mastermind. And this dude has fucked some of the hottest girls literally from all my dating. I mean, this dude fucking slays. I think he's in a relationship now, but back in the day, that dude was just tearing it up. All right, so here's a Bumble interaction. This girl opens him. She just sends him a hand wave emoji. So that's kind of like the level of, you know, kind of uh, <laughs> like a game you get from women nowadays. So he's like, why do I feel like our first date will be arguing about who can squat more? Because they're both into fitness. Like, lol, that's if I lie, take me on one. Well, you did already follow me on IG, so we're like 50% there. So again, he's being he's not being super funny, but this is fairly witty. She's like, lol, true. I like your IG page. Looks like you really hustle and like to look down a lot, right? So he combines being serious with humor. It's like, looks like you really like to hustle. And then he makes the joke and you like to look down a lot. That's also good. You don't want just to be jokes, jokes, jokes. She's like something about that floor. You got a very sexy top of your head. I never would have realized otherwise. So he's, again, he's playing along. I just want everyone to know that. Are you always that thoughtful? I am actually, so you remember to get me a card on my birthday. I'd even get you a gift if you were nice enough. Ooh, what kind of gift would it be? So also he's not sticking to just one role play, right? He's kind of moving the conversation around so it doesn't get stale. I'd even get you a gift if you were nice enough. Uh, she's, she's like, have to wait to find out. Keeping me in suspense, huh? At least give me a hint. You don't deserve one yet. Why do I get, what do I get for doing all those nice things for you? Well, I could make sure to give you multiple screaming orgasms and always remember to walk on the outside of you on the sidewalk, you know, true gentleman like things. So again, it's a combination of sexualization with humor, right? Which is exactly how I like to sexualize. I like to use humor. She's like, oh, perfect. Now, can you tell me what gift you get me? She's like, nope. Uh, she's like, nope, what are your reasons for being on Bumble, his name? She's like, he's like, to meet a cool girl like you who has a sense of humor and hopefully similar interests. Perfect, so when are we getting married? What are you thinking, destination or traditional destination? We should probably get together to discuss our future. What's your number, how probably should, number and bam. So this is a good one. He wanted meeting up and hooking up with her, right? Again, so this is a good combination of being witty while not being too out there and keeping the conversation moving, not getting too stuck on one joke and actually having your jokes kind of land, right? All right, let's take a look at another one. So this is gonna be an even more challenging one because this girl just messages him on Instagram 
telling him to vote for some like little contest that she was doing. So the opener from her is, could you please do me a huge favor and click on this link and vote for Miss Gal for me, please, right? So yeah, so this is not like the girl's hitting on him, right? This is a little bit harder. He's like asking a lot here. It looks like it's tied at 50-50. So he doesn't immediately give in, right? And this is less to do with wittiness and more to do with just like not being over easy simp, right? She's like, lol, are you in Vegas right now? He's like, nah, just a throwback from the summer. I'm getting antsy for spring weather. Uh, she's like, ah, me too. What are you doing? Can't wait for those bikini tan lines, huh? Just getting ready for the, uh, the gym. You, well, nice. I'm, it's going well to my girlfriends. We're all having a summer party. Will there be more chips and candy? But will this time with the cute PJs and pillow fights? So again, this is not like the funniest LOL jokes, but they're kind of like witty, right? He's, She's like, haha, I'm hoping lol. Feel free to take pics and send this way. I can give social media approval ratings. He, she's like, lol, I didn't end up going. We just went to eat, slumber party tomorrow. Damn, I was so ready for pillow fight pics. Almost had a heart attack reading that. <laughs> so she laughs a lot. She's like, how's the gym? Can you keep a secret? He's like, absolutely. Again, he's playing into it. He's like, skip the gym. And now that I'm stuck trying to figure out what a good moisturizer is, <laughs> he sends her a photo of moisturizer. She's like, oh my God, LOL. It's just like so random, it's funny. Uh, he's like, I have no clue about these things for your face. Yes. Right, so not every text is him going over the top. Sometimes he just sends very simple text, which again is kind of what I talked about in my examples. Is it really dry or kind of dry? I use this thing from Shoppers, 100% natural, sorry, 97% natural, lol. I put this in the basket, most expensive, and says for aging assholes, I mean aging skin. <laughs> so pretty funny, and then he sends her a screenshot. Haha, all my LOL. I don't think you have to worry about aging. No, you're gonna share some of your fountain of youth with me. I have you tips, I'm the old lady here, LOL. Huh, I actually just realized, I don't know your age. I would guess not a day past 24. So again, he doesn't get stuck on one thing, he keeps moving, haha, I wish, how old are you? You look young. Best compliment I've had all year, I'm 33. She's like, I'm 33, no way I believe you. I will need a passport and a second form of ID, but I am, when's your birthday? I am blah, blah, blah. So here they're talking about the birthday, you know what that means, right? Uh, what does it mean? You would understand all my jokes and throwback references because we're all, you mean experienced, educated, wise and experienced. Uh, yeah, you know, you got that much more attracted to me when you told me your age. He's, she's like, you like old ladies? He's like, especially when they're wearing senior diapers, LOL, right? So he's combining, like having a normal conversation with a lot of pretty witty jokes, right? And it worked because he later wound up meeting up with her and there's like about 50 more screenshots. I can show them all, but he later wound up meeting up with them and hooking up with her, right? And if you're in the mastermind, you can see uh, the screenshots in there. But yeah, so you can see this is, again, the difference between being witty and being cheesy, right? Guys who are witty, they're not just keeping going with one thing over and over again, right? They're combining humor with a normal conversation they're not keeping one role play going forever. They're kind of switching gears and moving on, not letting the conversation get stale. And most importantly, the thing that separates witty jokes from cheesy jokes is that witty jokes are actually funny. So if your friends would laugh at them, then chances are, you know, they're probably witty. If your friends would be like, dude, what the hell, this is super corny, then chances are your humor is cheesy. All right, hope you guys found this video valuable. If you're enjoying this kind of content, then make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification, and please share this video with your few friends because that really helps in that YouTube algorithm them. Also, if you want more text game and tips and advice, then check out the free webinar we're doing the Sunday at 8 p.m. Registration link is in the description. We're going to be breaking down text game layer reports. Also, we're going to be evaluating Tinder profiles. And best of all, it's 100% free, so you don't want to miss out on that. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time.